That's what I'm thinking. Lock the punch. Okay, so we start here. Ball's on the shelf. Rotate to camera one. When you turn, stop, pause, and then lock the punch. And once the left arm starts to deliver, make sure the elbow's up, arm extends, reach out, try to touch the target. Okay, snap the wrist. Okay, anytime the ball doesn't spin clean, just means your hands open on your release. It's all about wrist speed matching arm speed. Okay, so your throw is done here, and then gravity actually pulls your arm down. So the arm doesn't do this. Okay, if you're trying to get the ball to go that way, I want to do this. Every time you throw a football, I want you to hold your wrench. Okay, so remember, it's the left arm clearing that generates the velocity. Okay, here, here we go. On you. Okay, one, two, good. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Remember, take pictures all through your camera. One, two, and three. So when you finish, you should finish here. Okay, good. Here we go. strength and conditioning stuff now is core. You guys do so much core, so now let's use that core to generate that torque, okay? Because the right arm has nothing to do with velocity, okay? So the next thing we're gonna work on now, okay, we're gonna throw from what I call perfect, from platform, okay? It's perfect throwing position. Your feet are shoulder width apart, your knees are slightly bent, balls up on the shelf. Now that upper body turn we were just working on, it never changes, okay? So now we're just starting to throw with our base, okay? So I call your left toe your GPS, okay? Because I should be able to look at your front toe and know exactly where the ball's going. Okay, so if I'm stepping and throwing the ball, okay, we have to, okay, so if the football is a bullet, okay, so now the trigger's out here. We're going to hit it with our GPS by taking the L stick. So when you step to the outside shoulder, here, once you get your hips open, it doesn't matter how hard you rotate your shoulders, then you're always going to finish with balance. If you have balance, you have accuracy. But the thing about anticipating, okay, hitting the trigger, and once the foot's down, you're going to continue to push your weight up over your front foot. Okay, because the ball comes out when the nose is over the toe. You hear me saying, start small, finish tall. Start small, finish tall. Okay, because we're generating that base from that energy from the ground, coming up through the hips, and then oh, out through the arm. Okay, good. Here we go. Let's work on that. Starting that platform. Starting that platform. Just stepping and throwing. So here, make sure you're on the balls of your feet. Okay, on your knees. Okay, and then step and Just remember, you got to take your L stick. So your GPS. Make sure you're on the outside shoulder. And the upper body turn we were just working on, exact same thing. So it's the legs and the left side that creates the force on the Good. Make sure you go. All the way to take pictures of all three cameras. This is right. I want you in the picture, that's why I did that. <laughs> <laughs> it's another quarterback. 
Mays quarterback, Ross Seas, watching Hunter right now. 